Now, we're all familiar with the EQS range of electric vehicles, but Mercedes is about to release a new family of electric cars that are designed to be more affordable, more accessible, and more efficient. And it all starts with this, the new concept CLA. The CLA is a concept built to showcase the next generation of entry-level Mercedes vehicles, and it'll come in various body styles. There will be a four-door coupe, a shooting brake, and two SUVs. All of them will share design similarities with the concept CLA and offer brand new technology. But something that is particularly impressive is the range. Mercedes claimed that it would do 466 miles on a single charge. If that actually translates to the production version, it would go further than any other EV on the market so far. As always, there is a lot to talk about with these cars, so I have enlisted the help of Maya Markova, expert exterior designer at Mercedes. Tell us about the concept of the car. Okay, so the purpose of the concept is to make a first glimpse into the new family for Mercedes. We have a new platform coming up, it's called MMA, and this is a pre-production concept that shows the full family and it represents what's coming to the future from Mercedes. Very nice too, but I'm particularly intrigued by your front grille. Yeah. yeah, this is actually our pride. It took tremendous amount of time to develop it. So this is a bold statement for the front, and this is a piece of jewelry that we want to put a lot of focus on also for the future. So we have 274 stars in 3D pierced through the body panel of the grille. And it's a very extreme shark nose, as you can see. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to emphasize the fact that it's the beauty that comes with the function. So that's why we have the illumination behind each star that works as uh, some sort of a digital grill that you can also communicate the messages uh, with the passengers and pedestrians. It's, it. it's got a much more menacing face. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah. It's a very distinctive look, and uh, honestly, the headlights are also very important feature for us. It's a really strong theme for Mercedes. We want to make the car more present on the road, no matter day or night, so people can always see that it's Mercedes coming. So it's very nice. And this band. It looks like it spans around the whole width of the car. Yes, exactly. So this is our very slim light band that takes us around the corner and it runs through the whole car, covering the blisters up to the rear wheel and to the rear lights. And it actually helps to stretch the car as much as possible to make the compact class look even more luxurious and more premium. These are 21 inch wheels. And these are also very special wheels for us because normally uh, it's very atypical for Mercedes to do a six-spoke wheel. We have five, we have ten, we have multi-spoke. So usually the five-spoke wheel, it goes for the sport cars and the multi-spoke goes for the luxury. And also the dish, the chrome dish, also goes for the luxurious, more high-end cars. Talk to me about this incredible roof. So we have only one pillar that is above the driver and the passenger in the front. And then after that is a one sheer full glass surface with embossed star pattern on it with illumination uh, from the sides. So the roof is actually a part of our illumination scenario that runs across the whole car and unites the full image of the concept. I feel like I want to lie down and do some stargazing. Yes. Nice bottom. Yeah. As I've come to expect from Mercedes. Yeah. This is something also very special for us because we're going for the really full surfaces. We go for a really a lot of meat on the car. We have a wider track in the rear than the front. So we get a tremendous Coke bottle shape from the side that goes into the blisters and the muscles on, on the rear. And uh, of course, we have the signature light at the back that also very important for the rear and very reduced way. So we really focus the attention of the viewers on the important stuff. This effect across here is the lamella, is that yeah. right? Yeah, that's correct. Because this is also one of the themes that we have that run across the whole exterior and interior. For the interior part, it's also very important. But for the exterior, it's more of a second read. We have it in the diffuser at the back. We have it on the center lock of the wheels. And we also have around each star in the grill 
little pins that also part of the theme. Oh, nice. Time to get in? Mm-hmm. So, a very distinctive exterior, certainly with more to discuss than on the previous generation CLA, and one that has a premium feel. But what about the interior? Well, we can't give you final details about what each version of the CLA will look like, but the concept CLA promises some very clever touches, including sustainable materials and a powerful so-called supercomputer from NVIDIA that uses AI and machine learning, which is powerful enough to detect when children have been left alone inside the car, simply by analysing the breathing patterns of its occupants. If a child has been left inside, it can alert the driver via their mobile phone. If nobody responds, it can alert bystanders and set the temperature to a safe level to protect human life. I have now enlisted the help of Christina Novak, who is colour and trim expert at Mercedes. And a remarkable job has been done inside. This is very impressive and looks very futuristic. Um, talk to me about this. Is it a super screen, it's called? Right, it's called super screen. And it's extending about the whole width of the interior, which is really cool. So you have the screen for the driver as well as the screen for the passenger. And for example, the passenger here can watch like movie or you can while driving, search for a restaurant and then pushes the information directly to the driver, what is really cool. Oh, okay. So you could choose a restaurant, get the map up, slide it over right. to me and right. I can get, oh, nice. And this here, this looks like the heart of the car. It all looks very, very cool. It is, it is. This is our processor, what visualize like the brain of the car. Hmm. And this is for all the information on the display and also the lights here for everything. It all looks very spacious. Yes, that's true. It's really spacious, even because of these free floating center console. With wireless charging, cup holders. And is this paper material? This is the paper as well as in the door trims. So this is really cool because it's extremely new. We did it the first time at Mercedes, and I can tell you we will have this in serial production. It's so clever. You would never think that this was paper. Right. And a, or most of it is recycled materials, right? Right. For example, we have the textile, which is 100% recycled. We have, for example, the artificial silk, and also the leather. It's really nice because it's vegetable tent. It's tanned with the shell, the outer shell of the coffee beans. Nice. And it's very comfortable. Um, and again, I noticed the sort of lamella theme that is on the exterior as well as the interior. The lamella theme was really interesting for us because it's not only a design theme, it's also a functional theme. So here in the dashboard, we have the airs coming out. And here in the doors, we have in speaker. Mm, clever. I love it. And the amazing sunroof. Yeah, what is really cool is if you're looking behind, you can see the shadows of the stars are going directly through the material. And that looks so nice. It all looks very slick. Final production cars that are inspired by the concept CLA will come with a choice of two battery types with different cell chemistries. The top level versions will use a silicon oxide anode for better energy density, while the entry level versions will use lithium iron phosphate, a more affordable chemistry with smaller range. The larger of the two batteries will likely have an 89 kilowatt hour capacity, but Mercedes say the battery itself is physically smaller and lighter the larger of the two batteries will likely have an 89 kilowatt hour capacity, but Mercedes say the battery itself is physically smaller and lighter, partly because the cells are held together with adhesive rather than screws. And because it's an 800 volt system, it doesn't need as much cooling, which also saves weight. The 800 volt architecture has another big advantage, fast charging. The concept CLA will recharge at 250 kilowatt DC 
delivering up to 248 miles of range in 15 minutes. But the power in the car can also be used to run other devices, thanks to bi-directional charging. When connected to a compatible DC charging station, the car becomes an energy storage device that could store energy produced by solar panels for use later, either supplying your home with power in the event of a power cut or the energy grid to help balance grid demand. So, there we have it. A first look at the new concept CLA by Mercedes. A very interesting car. A nice mix of futuristic technology and some clever ideas that you will see on production electric vehicles by Mercedes in the not too distant future. Let me know what you think in the comments below.